Now for the last barge. Now I've been looking forward to this ever since I started the picture. So what we do, first of all, we're putting a bit more white on because we need to have some light that's hitting the top of the barge, although I'll be changing some of these colours. Uh, but uh, it's got a white along that edge there. And we've got a couple of whites here because I've got I need a sharp whites for these. That's great. Okay. And I want a grey there. Because I've got white. Let's make sure I've got plenty of white on there. Yep. Yeah. And then we want the grey. Now I'm going to use two double three here. No, it's fine. Just want the light right on the very top edge there. That's great. So we've got the white there. And then it's got to have windows. Now the windows, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with grey. This is a light grey, 230. It's also got white on the window, but really I need to, I need to put the grey in before I put the white in, believe it or not, in this case. We'll see why in a minute. Well, you can do it the other way around, but you've got to go in between the whites then, and it's going to be more tricky. Right, now that's got that in there. And then, just to finish off the whites, we've got a couple of white lines. A decoration. This is a decoration here. And there's another one on there. Right. Good, now we've got one there and one there. We've already put the, the lines in here, which are okay, great. And I don't think we're going to, I'll put them on the other side, although we're not really going to see them, there's going to be any shadow. And while we've got the white in our hand and it's nice and sharp, we'll put a bit of white on there. Back, back to this. I need now to put the, the, the white. Um, I'm, I'm debating, you see, because we've got um, a colour in here. Oh, do you know what I didn't do? I didn't do this one, did I? A little one there. Now, no, I think what I'll do is I'll put the grey on. Uh, no, I can't put the grey on. I'll tell you why I don't. I'm going to put the grey on, but then I want to put another colour on, which is 169. On here, but I can't put the grey on because I've got the. I already put the windows in. Oh well, that means I'm, I've got to put the white in the on the outer edge. I'm hoping that I'm going to get this in. Yep. If you're looking at that and thinking there's not a lot of contrast there, Carl. And you're dead right, there isn't, but this is going to have a darker cover in it. It's grey to start with, but we'll be putting two double three in as well. That's not bad. Okay, so we'll just finish this off on the top edge. So that means I think then what I can do is I can put this colour in here. I'll have to just decide what to do with that window in a minute. I think what in fact I can I can get away with it. I can put a two double three in there. Right. Now you may elect to do this a different way because once you've seen all the colours you can decide whether you want to do it the same way I've done it or choose your own. way of doing it. Now this is the colour that I'm looking at. This is 169. It's quite a strong colour so I don't want to make it too 
I don't want to press too hard with it. Along the top to start with. You've also got a little bit of perspective to worry about. In other words, up this end it's going to be very, very slightly wider than it is down at the bottom end. But I don't really think we can worry too much about that. Great. For now, we come in between. quiet folks you know that I'm concentrating that grey you're not going to see that grey at all so while it's in my mind I'll make it a little bit darker in there this is with 175 right I can always lighten it up again if I want to later on but that's the colour that I'm looking for and what about this you say surely there's something in here well there is what there is in here, folks, is a name. Now, it's, as you can see, it's very small, so you ain't going to see it. The problem is, if I hadn't done it like this, and left that little bit of light, I wouldn't have had that um, brightness underneath it. I just put the a little bit more white on there. You're not going to be able to put I'm not going to be able to put the wording in there. It really would be pushing the luck. Now that's a good colour. But on top of that colour, I now want to put another colour, which is 190. And I'm hoping that this will give me the tone that I'm looking for. It does. It was kind of ready movie colour. Now the reason I I didn't just use this colour which is 190 on its own, is I'm going to put another red in later on down here. And I wanted a contrast. But I love the colour. It's great. Okay, now I'm going to make just a few small changes here. I'm going to put on top of the double three and the white that I put earlier I'm going to put just a little bit 175 this puts a little bit of clarity into it and then with the 233 here yeah, we, we can now put in the windows I won't be talking very much while I'm doing this. Wasn't that fun? Now we can now we because we can see what we're doing. We can just put a spot or two. I'm going to sharp a white here of white back in here. I mean, you might ask yourself: Is there a limit to how much? detail you can put in what well, of course there is with pastel pencil you can do fantastic work but there is limitations and this is probably about it but it looks good now the other thing we can do now is very very carefully with that 175 
we can just put just a little bit more strength here and there. Now that doesn't have to be everywhere. Ideally, where you'd have the shadow of the window, which is on this side. The reason being that we're looking at the side, this side of the boat at this angle. So we can make it a little darker like that. But leave the other side. Great. We can even, if we're really clever, we can just put just a couple of spots of white in there as well. Just to put the indication of light hitting the window. Can't do any more, that's fine. Okay, let's move on. Now down here, this is going to be a dark-ish grey, but what I'm going to do first of all is put 230 in. I'm not going to put this in too strong because I don't, I don't want to, I want to use the um, 233. And the other thing here, while I think of it, is to put a white I don't know what these are called. Buffers, I think that's I, that's what I call them, but they're not that. That's not the name. And um, I'll just put a little bit of colour on that as well. In fact, it might be an idea just a spot of ochre in there as well, just to make it look just a little bit different. Great. So then we then use. Uh, no, we don't. Well, that's not, that's not the colour, this is the colour. In here, it's that pin line again of one six nine and then one ninety. But here, it's grey. <clears throat> now these lines, these white lines, do need to be quite narrow. So you may well have to cut into it and then just reuse the white later on. Okay, that's great. Now the 175. Now we can, don't have to completely cover the grey here because it looks better if it's got just a little bit of variation of tone in it. You can see what I mean? Do the other bottom one and you'll see what I mean. pointed one here. I don't think I've used this grey pointed one yet, but this is probably the better one to use. It's a little firmer. Now you can see that it's more obvious now, that variation of colour, of tone. Ah. 
I just it makes it more interesting. Right, and as I said, you may well have to revisit that white if you've got a nice sharp white just to make it a little bit neater. This doesn't really show this bottom one because it's actually in the water, but it's quite important because we'll be putting the shadow in there later on. Now we've got to work that round the other side. The, the difference here is that because we're going to be working on a darker area because we're, we're away from the, the light, or, or this is in shadow, shall I say, we want to make this darker. So therefore, no 230 underneath. And then when we put the dark on, it will register as a stronger tone. dark all the way you don't have to worry about that little bit at the bottom I should be making it just a spot darker using a bit of black in a minute great and it's the same here and there okay now I'd, you could say to me well, does that white stay white no it doesn't it's going to be darkened down in a minute but we don't want to do it yet 175 you're wondering about this one that's the, uh, there's a cover that goes over the top of that so I can't really do that until I've finished the cover and immediately you see the difference that this is in shadow it, it doesn't make sense until you put the shadow over the whole lot That's one of those buffers again. But that's a different colour. That's not going to be a, an ochre tone. Right, well, there's our boat filled in. And we'll use our grey colour shaper now. Just to blend that in. And now we can now go and use the colour on that white. There, it virtually disappears altogether. We can go in with that. And at the bottom, a little bit of black. That I put in. That is probably a good idea. Put a bit of black in here too. These are still too light. So in that case, I think we use to use one seven five. Just make them disappear until you get round about there. And then what we can do is we can just just put a bit of spot as though it's just catching the light coming back there with maybe just a little bit of light grey too. This would have been too complicated to try to do it in two bits but that, that looks good. I like that. Revisit our little buffer. Now, what about the top there? Well, that bit there is going to have to be a different colour. Now, I'm going to put grey in there to start with. Now, this is grey because what we've got is a like a perspex window set into the cover. And this cover is going to be a red 
and not quite as vivid, uh, not quite the same red as that, but it'll be red. And what we want now is the grey, but we want some light on the grey. A bit complicated, but you'll see it's going to work out in a minute. Okay, a little bit of dark. 175 in here as well, just underneath here. That gives us the impression that we've got light. Got any idea? I think that will do. Not a bad idea, just to put a little spot of blue. Let's just use a blue on here. A little bl a blue film on it too. This is 140 I'm using. It makes it look just a little bit more attractive. Okay, and then we can put a white in there. Like that. Now, in here, we've got something really interesting. And I don't think you, again, this may be something you've never seen me do before. I'm going to put grey in here. This is two, double three. I'm going to go around this bit because this is the front of the barge there. Now I bet you're wondering, what am I doing? Well, I want to make it dark in there. But what I want to do with it is to imagine, if you can, there's something going on in there, but we can't really know what. So if we were to put in 175 down there, and maybe along there, and maybe down there, And then darken it, but don't darken it totally, just leave something as though you're looking at something but you don't really know what it is inside there. And you can then bring in colours like a little bit of, a little bit of black, just punch home just a little more intrigue. Even put a spot of colour in there. Now, this is the colour that I'm going to use for this in a minute. But we can put a little bit of colour in there. Doesn't have to make sense, but it must, it must look as though something going on. Now, that's the, this is grey, so I'm making it look as though maybe there's a, I don't know, something going on in there. Okay, and then just a little spot of light. Lovely. That'll do. Uh, I, I might come back to that in a minute, but um, I think that does okay at the moment. I'll make that a little darker. And now this colour. And what I'm going to do with this colour is I'm going to use the grey again. This is the 230. And it's going to come all the way down to there because this is going over the top of the barge. It's going on the other side as well, and down there. A little bit of light, because there'll be some light on the top, on the top of the deck there, so there'll be a light just coming in there. Put that in there. And there'll be grey going underneath there. But bear in mind, we've still got the white line that's, which is uh, continuing like that. Okay, now let's put the grey back in like that, and just a spot of one seven five. And then the red, and it's 190 this is. Now I want that to be quite light on there, so we put all the, the dark bits in first. I want to say the dark bits, and the darker bits in first. But leaving the light for the moment. 
You see, it's very, very close to that colour, but I'm just going to put a touch more red on this in a minute. Now, when you get down to there, and that will be up, and then we've got that white that I put, I just put in there, will give me a lighter bit. Well, it will if I put a little bit more light on it. And you have to work these colours. You, they don't, they don't automatically happen. You've got to work them. Now, there's a colour in here which I'm going to use um, two two five because we're turning it with now. It's coming round over the top of that. of the deck. Now can, we can also put some of that in the darker sections. This is where I think we're going to have some shadow down there. You see how this bit now makes much more sense than it did when I did it first of all. It's great. A little bit more depth in there. Good. And what I'm also going to do, use my colour shaper, and I want to drag some of that dark into the red there to give me more shadow. I can't put black on this, impossible. That's great. Works well. Maybe a little bit more black to give myself a bit of contrast here. See that little corner there? Well, that's going to be really important in a minute. This bit. A little bit of shadow in <laughs> colour. 225 I'm looking for. We are your 225 here now. And I think we'll have just a little spot of 175 on there. Just to make it look a little more shadow and maybe look right. Now here we want to blend this colour in. You see it, it's all this it's all this colour so we can drag it into the white as well. A little bit more depth. Down there. is really catching the light now then and there's another fold we can put in as well just add one more and then down here there you go lovely now that it's also a little bit of light going down this edge where it's folded around and a little bit of grey in fact, I think we can probably extend the white from here. If you've got the white coming from there, it'll probably extend up. Yes, it does, doesn't it? That looks good. You see how you can manufacture these um, effects? Lovely. 
Now, another colour that I'm just going to add just a touch of is, is just the red. Now, this, the reason I'm doing that is because the this is going to be down here in a minute. This is the 118. Now, I didn't want this to be too strong. That's why I've only just introduced it. But just a little spot of colour on there, on there. Just lifts it up just a little bit more. Am I happy with that? I think I probably am. That looks um, pretty good. I'm just going in here with a grey rather than the white there, just to put more depth in there. Grey. And I'm leaving this deliberately to the end because it's, it's going to be really interesting to see me do it. Uh, that area, that buffer there, is um, ochre. In fact, I'll put grey on first. Two, three, three. And then the ochre, 182. A little bit light grey on the top, and a little bit of 175 on the bottom. Now, if you're saying, well, I can't see that very easily, well, it's not very obvious on the picture, but I'm going to make it a little bit more obvious by putting a bit of black around it, making it show up a bit more. Then we can put a spot of ochre like that. Maybe just a spot more grey on just catching light on the top. That's great. And one little bit I haven't done yet is over the back there. Now this is I put grey on to start with. I'm using my 190, if I can find that again, here it is, 190. It's quite a lot lighter. It's obviously something like this on the other side of there. I can't question it. And then with a little bit of dark. Like that one, just maybe a little touch of the, the red that I used and a little more white. Great. That will be fine. Now, what are we going to do about this? Well, this is something that I've really, really looked forward to. First of all, we're going to put the lighter colours in first, and I'm going to use yellow. 106, this is. There. There will be a little bit there, but you're not going to see very much of it because it's going around the corner. And then the blue. It's red, but it's got white. It's my other white. There. And it's also white in there.
and just a little bit of a little bit of depth on that edge purely to go give me a and also down here I think yes it just gives me an edge to that which I need because behind there we've got some green it's quite light behind that barge there There we are. I don't think we can do any more. I think that looks pretty good to me. I think I've just, there's a couple of little things I would look at that now. I think if I put a little bit of ochre down here, this is, that's it. And it's got to be held on by something. It's the same with this one. It's um, white buffer. So what I think we'll do here is we will use my grey fill this in a little bit more like that then we can put the white tie on it like that um, I've also got to tie the barge up so what I'm going to do is use I think I'll use a, a 175 here and that ties up with around the barge excellent 